Hello and welcome to game one of my Blitzball Super Season. Season one. So, we're proceeding Aurox. Ready to start their new campaign. And they are up against the Guado Glories. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. They're all going to be tough, let's be honest. <laughs> I really wanted to avoid the Albert Sykes. Uh, I really want to avoid them early because obviously Nimrod is an absolute god and we want to try to get a little bit of experience by the time that we play him. So we, can, we, actually, <laughs> we actually have a chance to score. But as I said in, uh, in the introduction video, all these teams are full of very, very, very good players. And we've got our wonderful standard base team. So, there's no text to set, but we would like to just quickly look at our opponents. Okay. Miu and Gar with 11 catching. They have Nida, Nida, Zelitz, absolute tank at the back. Quality all round. Central midfielder, we're going to have some problems dealing with her. Blapper, the early and mid game god, and Abus, <laughs> the deadly sharpshooter, 13 shooting at level 1. It's crazy! Well, goalkeeper has 5 catching. <laughs> but no one is serious, no, I think we're going to get absolutely crushed. <laughs> Alright, okay, so if Ram lies in their team, my players, my defenders, apart from Botta, can generally fend off any attacks, one versus one. So that's a positive, and that's on both sides. I have to avoid her at all costs because she is she is suffocating on every front. I have to avoid him because he just completely dominates. And we can we can expose her low attack rating, but she does have good recovery speed. And 11 catching for a goalkeeper means that realistically, Wack is the only one that's going to be able to score here. So I think we kind of have to play it on. Yeah, I think that we have to play it on uh, the left hand side towards Naida. Try to avoid Zalit as much as possible. And. We go with Jasu on the left, so it makes it a little bit easier for us to build up play. That's my thinking. So we're going to struggle to do, defend their attackers because they're both really competent in that area. Mm. Yeah, so most part, if we can get right on top of the goalkeeper, it's going to be a 50-50. But their chance to score is, is pretty huge. So after going to have to play really, really smart, really, really cautious and try to build up some experience and quite literally sneak a victory if possible. Come on then guys, let's go. Let's go Aurox. So immediately she, she's trying to dribble. We've hit a five. Oh, we, oh, we're going to end up in some serious trouble because she's going to be through on goal. Only one of my defenders. I need my other defender across. Hopefully they both can... Oh damn, that's bad. This is really bad. It's probably a goal already for them. That's not a good enough block either. Nope. Literally stomped right through my team. And there is not a thing that we could do. Let's get rid of this auto. I'm on them. 
So yeah, we're under pressure now. We're under pressure. One zero diamond within the first minutes. So I'm just gonna maneuver the pool a little bit first. Try to get some experience. Because we are very much suffering on that front. But because we've conceded early, we really kind of have to just go out, go up, go for it. Should have been fine there. So, just gonna try to get my players involved. Just try to get them some XP. Maybe we just go for it at the end of the first half here and then kind of go for a goal in the second. But it, really, it would really, really be nice if we can get Waka. A level just to buffer his shooting. So really, what I'm hoping for is just to get a, get a few levels really, and maybe equalise before half time. We're gonna go for around like three minutes thirty. I know this seems absolutely ridiculous, but uh, passing it between between them get some experience. But you know they're, they're quite content. They're winning one 0 They're like, what are these? What are these clowns doing? No wonder why they lose all the time. So we're now two forty-six on the clock. We made quite a few passes between these two. Before this game, I would have taken a draw. Right, so I think now is the time. We'll go here, and then we'll come back across, and then we'll... We'll... Try our luck. Uh, so you know, that was absolutely intentional with the pass, so how we're going to do this is we're going to just uh, try to entice that defender out which works out fine, but the problem is is that they've got the, the other defenders quite central which means that we're going to go here instead try to pull these two away a little bit and a little bit more Uh, we can we can definitely go to Waka because we should be able to beat Nada one versus one and get right in on the goal, which we've been able to to do. So we're going to survive the challenge. We just need this to go in, and then hopefully at the start of the next half we big that's massive goal, massive goal, and hopefully we can start off with possession and start of the next half. But that's a huge goal. We needed that to go in, give the boys some confidence, and hopefully they don't have enough time to respond now. Fourteen shootings. She could score from distance if she wanted, or it would threaten at least. She's um, she's a dangerous one. She is. I bet she's still warming, warming the pool. I'm wrapped up. She looks cozy. So she's gonna shoot, but it's not gonna matter. So really big. We got the equalizer, and hopefully we got some serious XP of Waka. That's huge. 14 experience. The only downside is he's not going to be able to use his tech because that's part of the rules. So, 
So we're gonna remove the venom shop because we're not allowed to use it. Jasu, I don't believe he has anything I can use, which is really unfortunate. So yeah. So that gives us a, a, a little bit of an advantage now with the shooting. So now we, I think we could <clears throat> take a bit more of a chance in that department. Hopefully we don't respond. So that's nice. Okay, so we, we start off with the ball. Now we've got to play this correctly. So firstly to Bala, we're only going to go across to our left sided defender. Gonna try and set up Waka for another goal. And we're gonna go for it straight away here. Because the odds are, odds are slightly better for us, and I think out of out of the teams to play, this is probably the one that we're gonna be able to pick up a win. So we really need pick up three points really here for we're, we're gonna win the league so hopefully 13 versus 11 is in our favor big that's massive right cool awesome one no down to two one up this is excellent now we just need to stave off their attack which judging by their only attack so far it's gonna be quite difficult for the boys Hopefully, I can get another defender to come across here to support. And a third one, come on. Okay, two versus one. She's going to shoot. We need to tackle. That's huge. It's huge. And it's even better because Savannah didn't follow me. If she had followed me, we most likely would have had to give up possession. So this is looking really encouraging now for us. Now we can throw the ball to Letty. Who is that in the midfield right now for them? Who is it? I can't tell who it is. And I can't tell who that is chasing me either. Oh, is that... Is that Blapa? So, we are winning. We don't need to push for a goal. So the best thing for us to do is to maintain the ball and hopefully see out the result for here from here. Quick pass. We might even be able to get a third goal, but we'll see. Because we already know that most likely the defender is not going to be able to take the ball from us. So I'm just going to just chill here in their half until they can pressurize me. But I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to force anything, they're the team that has to force something here. They have to force me to give it the ball, and I just don't need to. So I need to, to get away from that defender. Uh, she can't take the ball. Um, I, think, I think time's going to be on our side. So I'm going to throw it to Waka. We are going to go for the next goal. We're now at 4 oh, 3 on the clock. Um, this makes me a little bit nervous uh, because this isn't guaranteed and we are going to drop to like 10 or 11. Oh big, nice. That made a difference because if that doesn't go in, 
there is a potential chance they counter and again attempt at the other end. But no, this is a huge result. We've been really like every every chance that we've had, we've taken. But we've really had to work for the three goals, and it looked bleak at first, going one zero down in the first minutes. But we controlled the game really, really well. Um, and we kind of taken advantage of advantages of their weaknesses. But this this result is huge. Three points is huge here. We needed to start off well because we got a lot of trouble ahead. I think that might have even ended up going in. But big victory to begin with. A huge. Victory. And some really, really heavy progress on Waka. Mm, nobody else really got much experience, which is kind of sad. And we will need to work on that. But, victory is a victory, we're happy with that. Ooh, the Ronso Fangs. Their first victory, 2 1 versus the Goers. And then at the other side of the clean shield, of course, with a late goal from Volusia to defeat the Kilika Beasts. A Waka Hattrick. What a way to start. So that concludes the first game. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to find out who our next opponent is is in game two and see how we get on thank you for watching see you later